In this example here, we're asked to find the sum of the first 35 terms of this series. Well, I can see that there's a pattern here. Everything's going up by a y on the bottom of this logarithm. But with logarithms, I'm going to have to use the properties to open this all up. And so if I open it up, I'm going to get ln x squared, which is the first term. This is the first term. So u sub 1. This is u sub 1. Plus, I'm going to get ln x squared minus ln y. This here is u sub 2 plus ln x squared minus ln y squared. This here is u sub 3 plus ln x squared minus ln y cubed plus, and so on. And I know this is u3 u3, and I know u35, which I'm going up to, is ln x squared. Oh, sorry, this is u4, is minus ln y. And if I notice, this cube is one less than the term, so it's going to be to the power of 34. And this here is u sub 35. And so I have to add up all these terms. And so let's do some, some clever thinking here. Let's rearrange this. And if I think about my ln x squared, I know I'm going to have 35 of them. I'm going to add up all 35 ln x squares. So I have 35 ln x squares. And then each one here is subtracted. But if I notice, the ln y start on u2. And it's going to be subtracted. So I'm going to subtract all of these, starting with ln y. And this is u2. And I pulled out the negative sign, so it's adding. It's going to be 2 ln y plus 3 ln y plus so on plus 34 ln y. And so I need to add all these ones up. And if I think about my formulas, this here is an arithmetic sequence. The common difference each time I'm adding an ln y to each of these scenarios. So I know that the common difference difference is ln y. But I have the first term and the set last term. I'm going to use this version of my formula. And so I know this is a 35 ln x squared. And this is the sum of the first 35 terms minus, well, n. I have, I'm starting here at u, I have 35 terms in total. I'm not counting the first one, so I know I have 34 terms. So this is 34 over 2. My first term for this series is ln y. My last one is 34 ln y. Okay, and so now, continuing on here, I can make this ln, ln x to the power of 70 by my power property minus 17 times 35 ln y, which is ln x to the 70, 17 times 35 is 595 minus 595 ln y, which will make it ln x to the power 70 divided by y to the 595. This here is equal to s35. This is a combination of geometric series, or sorry, arithmetic series and logarithm properties.